What team do you support again? Is it? I support Barcelona in Spain. Hey, yes. um, our brand here. Please, <laughs> let's take a look at the review for sports in the year 2021. Let's get straight into it. Um, football, boxing, and all the sporting highlights this year. Thank you, Sadiq Adams. And by the way, Sadiq Adams is the reigning SWAG journalist of the year. Congratulations. Thank you. So let's begin right from just the um, collapse to the Africa Cup of Nations. It's a good blend. For Milo, I was saying it um, after the announcement that this looks like the work of Milo, 99% um, his decision and choices, especially with um, five local players. This will be the first time in many, many years that you have such uh, a number of players, especially outfield players, uh, being in the Black Star squad for the AFCON. It's interesting, but to win the AFCON will be very difficult. Not impossible, though, but I believe that winning it will go beyond just the squad. Let's talk about the qualifications, I mean, stages. We also know that we are still in the running for a World Cup place. Very tedious um, how we qualified. Uh, the victory against South Africa was a pirate one because the Black Stars ordinarily should have beaten South Africa by, I mean, two or three goals, even home and away. That's how it's been for the past 20 years. But the manner in which we were qualified, having to go to FIFA and uh, the anxiety of waiting tells you that the team is not really in a good shape. I think that the coach came in to make a quick fix um, and he did it, qualify for the AFCON, play off of the World Cup and um, what we need to do is to wait um, further the match to be able to decide if the team will gel well by then uh, after the AFCON to be able to progress. And, and that remains to be seen. But a quick touch on the controversy about that game that led South Africa to file that complaint to FIFA. Was it without any merit? But I believe that football has come of age even in the uh, this years of uh, technology, the advancement of it, I don't think that a lot of clubs and national teams have not suffered this, even for the Black Stars. In recent years, a lot of penalty decisions uh, have gone the way of our opponents, and we just have to accept if you protest, you wait and see what the authorities of the game will do. The point is that you can't do anything when a referee takes a decision on the field of play that uh, is not that be found to be influenced by any external forces. Let's talk about the um, Ghanaian players abroad. Which of them would you say has been the standout performer and also with the introduction of Afina Jan, who has also gotten a call-up into the Blacks? Yeah, but in the Ghanaian football context, I think that this year has been very casual, not mm. really a standout player. Last right. um, week or so, we were trying to find out the outstanding Ghanaian player abroad, and it was quite difficult based on, on the statistics and uh, records of performance. You would want to go for Kudus Mohammed if he had not been Injury. set back by yeah, injuries. Yeah. Um, twice this year he's uh, gone out of the game for more than four months. So uh, it would have been him easily. But I think that getting to the latter part of the year, uh, you can pick uh, Kamal Din uh, Suleiman of um, uh, the French Liga, who came in too strongly at Rene, uh, winning player of the month at, in France okay. in the midst of Mbappe, uh, Messi and Neymar. Uh, that was quite um, huge for him. But uh, the story of Afnajan is one that's really interesting and extraordinary. Not many footballers around the world who have such a career path to be able to rise from foot, um, school football mm. and five months later you are playing under Jose Moreno in the Serie A and uh, getting a call up into the Black Stars to cap his uh, incredible year. I don't know whether he will come for the AFCON, but that guy uh, has a very bright future. The prospect is already there. Mm. Uh, let's now come to local football. We know that the traditional Aqua Hats of Oak has they've seen a slump in, in form. I don't know whether it's form or it's just the, the country that is um, the team that is suffering the fatigue of all the exploits they did last season. Everything seemed to have gone wrong for the club. Um, this was not expected, uh, to be honest, because they let go. That's been the usual Ghanaian uh, club. I mean, the pattern was that to win the league and sell most of your top players. But House of Folk were able to keep 99% of their players, with the exception of uh, one player who left the team in Benjamin F2. All the players were kept, uh, even with um, huge advances from other clubs on the continent. But to be able to progress on the continental stage, in the Champions League, in the Confederations Cup, you need more. The yeah. players have really lost touch and the edge to win again. And the beating 
in at the hands of work really uh, there was some humiliation, eh? Complete embarrassment. I believe that it was a huge toll on the team. Yeah. And uh, to be called Ghanaian champions and then suddenly uh, be whipped by six goals to one uh, was, was something that they, was difficult for them to deal with. And they've not recovered they uh, since that uh, incident. I believe that they needed a psychological, I mean, touch to, uh, after that walk their defeat. And, they had nothing. The coach still needs more hands to work. So beyond Hearts of Oak, the, the local scene, which clubs are standing out, which players are making incursions, you know, in the Premier League season thus far? I think n since 1982, no Ghanaian chap has been able to take the lead by storm, like how Fatawi Seaku has done okay. uh, from Division 1 League. I bet the Pele moved from the Coast League as the Coast best player in 81 to RTU in 82 and took the league by storm. Fatawi Seaku's form and talent is, is I mean, very um, apparent for everybody to see. Uh, six games, six goals, three assists, two, I mean, man of the, three man of the match, one player of the month award for a 17 year old. But he, he plays, I mean, like he's, he's playing with his age mates uh, at that level. He, so far in 2021, I believe that he's the standout player in the league uh, yeah, so yeah. far. Let's speak about Hazakes ladies. They've had an incredible year this yeah. year, have they not? It had to be the CAF uh, Women's Champions League to bring them onto the continental stage. But they've been doing this for the past four or five years, so winning everything. Uh, I mean, on display, on the local scene, winning the Ghana Women's League, uh, winning the FA Cup, winning every other tournament that's organized in the women's division. And um, I was very glad that there was a maiden edition of the CAF Women's Champions League. Uh, they went there, they did their best, got to the final yeah. against one of the world finance women's club, uh, clubs mm -hmm. on the continent, um, Lodi Sanders. It was going to be difficult for a team that went there by donations from individuals to play against a team that had been promised $14,000 each to win the, the trophy. So I think the Hazakes ladies have shown that they are prospect, they are talents. So you're also watching 2021 in review, uh, sports in focus. Now let's talk about the Olympics. Ghana won the, the bronze, yep. the boxing bronze. How, how huge, you know, was that? The fact that Techi uh, became one of the few boxers to win the SWAT personality of the year means how huge uh, his bronze medal winning in Tokyo was. Uh, for 29 years, uh, Ghana had not won a medal at the Olympics and for more than 40 years to be able to get to that level was, was very massive for, for the youngster. And, but I believe that there were much more stories to talk about at the Olympics, especially for the Ghanaian contingent in athletics, uh, uh -huh. Benjamin uh -huh. Azamati, uh, Paul, Joseph Amwa, yeah. Emmanuel Yeboa and uh, Sean Sofo entry. This guy is, uh, broke a national record that has, I mean, been standing for 27 years. Uh, you remember Aziz Zakari, uh, the likes of uh, Abu National and all of I'm, I'm sure that if we will be able to get to this stage again, these are the same guys who will be able to win a medal for Ghana uh, at the Olympics. The end of an era for Barcelona, as many people have said. Yeah. What do you think about it? And was it the right time for Messi to, to leave Barcelona, in your opinion? Well, he was yeah. forced to leave because the club is paying for the way and manner of the divorce between themselves and the beautiful marriage with the Argentine. But apart from that, they are also paying for the I mean, lack of uh, financial direction. Messi's enormity was so massive to the extent that he had covered a lot of the broken patches.